ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the night stream. And oh boy, I just feel like the what, what's the saying? The crows come home to roost. A lot of stuff going on with uh, these influencers. Uh, some would say it's a little critical. Some say it's uh, moist, moist and critical. <laughs> oh, it's a bad one. But what's going on with all this stuff? Oh man, uh, bad takes, bad takes everywhere. Um, Moist Critical and Sneeko got into a conversation about the age of consent, which then turned into the ability for children to make a choice to cut off certain parts of their body. Um, it gets really, really interesting. Okay, so I'm going to jump right to the clip here. There's a couple spots, and I'm going to leave it up to you guys on how bad, um, and how bad this take is. Uh, let's, let's give it a go. That has been preying on them. Like, I don't know why you can't see that. A 16 year old okay. can't be making this decision on this adult who is convincing them that I am. Basically, Sneeko's, uh, saying that if I'm 16 years old and I want to marry a 21 year old woman, I should be able to have the ability to do it. That's what he's saying. And, and, and Mr. Crit Mr. Moist here is arguing for that fact the right choice for you for life right right but but a, a nine-year-old boy can go into a clinic and decide that that doctor that 40-year-old doctor could cut my penis off if that's a decision he and his family wants to make <laughs> it doesn't yeah i know it's pretty I, mean, <laughs> I hate this i hate to say this but i'm like I'm like on sneeko's side here so here's here's here it's on one, on one hand, a 16-year-old, listen, I, I think first and foremost, um, 18 and up, that's like, I don't, and anything below that, even 18 is just, you know, I, I'm getting up there in age. It's just ridiculous. But at 18, you're at least an adult, right? So, um, but the fact that Moist Critical is, is getting on Sneeko that, um, with it, what he believes is, you know, 16, you should be, be the age of consent and I should be able to marry a 21 year old. And Moist Critical says, no, but if you're under 18, you should be able to chop off your body parts. Uh, it's just computing's not computing here, right? For me, okay. Absolutely oh, okay, okay, okay. So then why is it that bringing someone else into that marriage, why does that then make it wrong? Because it could be an adult with a child, which is an un, that is an unacceptable like, dynamic under every possible In the doctor's office, in that gender therapy forever, it's still an adult and a child cutting off the penis moist. The, but th that you don't, you are not living with a doctor. You have made it. No, but. Uh, decision you're living yourself. with the decision of that doctor to cut the penis off. It's still living with the decision of another person too. That, Oh gosh. Um, so yeah, take that in. Let's let's fast forward a little bit into another uh, a part here, which is again uh, bad takes. Bad takes. Yes, I'm 16. Down. I meet a 21 year old woman. I say, Mom, Dad, I'm in love with this girl. I want to marry her. I feel like I'm in love. She's the right person for me. I want to do it. She's a yes, yes, yes. Everyone's good. But that same a nine year old could say, Mom, Dad, I want to cut my penis off, and you're going to say that's good. But a 16-year-old who feels in love, who's ready to commit, who's financially independent, that person cannot get married. A 16-year-old will never be financially independent. A I just, okay, hang on, one a more. And B, or you should see my whole team. Yes. You know, you okay, then Sneeko goes on to argue that, you know, he has teenagers that do, that work for him and, and make plenty of money more than professors, etc. Um, okay, again, bad takes, bad takes. Um... There's an age of consent for a reason, right? Uh, gosh, this is just this just goes into such a um, such a controversial, and it shouldn't be. All right, it, it 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 this shouldn't be so controversial. Eighteen and up, eighteen, you're considered an adult, okay? And then uh, also leave kids alone, because uh, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. When I was 10 I love the Ninja Turtles and Arnold Schwarzenegger I wanted to I thought I was a Ninja Turtle 
and I wanted to have muscles like Arnold Schwarzenegger. My parents didn't dye my skin green and give me steroids, which, if you ask me, uh, is probably safer than uh, hormone therapy <laughs> at that juncture. But um, hey, so let's 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 check out this article here. Um, over here, of course, it's Deserto, right? Um, Moist Critical announces indefinite hiatus from podcast amid co-host back backlash. Um, I just just for the record here, and I should have maybe stated this earlier on. I like Moist Critical. I subscribe to him, and his his uh, his his videos are super entertaining, and he seems pretty based most of the time. But this was just a horrendous mess. Um, you know, but anyways, continuing on. Uh, YouTube star Moist Critical is taking a step back from his activities on the official podcast, following backslash against uh, co-hosts and et cetera, et cetera. So uh, they, uh, the podcast uh, has sent out a letter to the Patreon. It goes a little something like this. Hey everyone, effective immediately, Charlie has made the decision to leave both the official podcast and Red Thread. He wants to go on an indefinite hiatus to scale back his time spent on the internet. We obviously wish him the best for everyone to respect his decision and for all to know that the show will always be open for him to drop by and talk shop should he wish to return. The official podcast Red Thread and Criminally Stupid are not going anywhere in light of this announcement. The the contributors to the official channel will be continuing as usual bonuses and all no change in schedule or pace other than no red thread this week due to Isaiah being on holiday with every with even more stuff on the horizon for the official podcast. Specifically, we may consider a replacement in time, depending on how things go. But for now, we're going to continue the show with the three remaining original hosts. In the event we wish to return to four host format, we will discuss the possibility of fan favorite candidates or someone we think fits our vibe and style. Feel free to leave us your suggestions as well. No, it's not going to be boogie. Ha! Oh man, talk about another basket case. Oh gosh. <laughs> Feel good about your life now? Oh, these uh these people. Anyways. We're st we are still recording episode 400 this Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern and hope you guys will call in with questions, topics, or just the thing you like. We'll play the jingle for you. We're committed to producing our shows for our fans who have been loyal to us for an astonishing eight years, good for them, and counting, and are grateful to have had this incredibly fortunate opportunity. Thank you. The official podcast Patreon. I mean, that's good. Pretty straightforward. Um straightforward letter to the fans uh which i'm sure everyone appreciates there on the patreon continuing the article this latest news is love moist critical's fan base equal parts shocked and unsurprised with some pointing out that youtube had been quiet on both shows for some time his sudden hiatus follows a few controversial moments for the influencer who got into heated feud controversial personality sneako over transgender rights earlier in july yep on Reddit, Moist also faced back backlash due to a few statements made by his official podcast co-host, Kaya, who made a comment about women's polyamorous relationships that users considered sexist. See, that I don't know about. So, um, I mean, again, um, who knows what's going to happen here, but boy, there is a lot of... There is a lot of stuff, a lot of sauce, a lot of juice going on midsummer here, baby. Um, how do you guys feel about Moist Critical's decision to take a break, to step back? I mean, I think that's good. You got to take a step back. Um, I will reiterate, I think both, uh, if you watch the video, which I'll, I'll put a link in the description as usual, uh, bad takes, bad takes everywhere. Um... Let me know down in the comments how you feel. Open-ended. What do you guys think? What are your opinions? This is a sensitive topic for people, but I think the right answers are pretty dang obvious on what should happen in these scenarios. Um, so please, be kind and nice in the comments section. 
I will join you guys there. That's some news. I'll talk to you soon. I appreciate you guys. Take care.